Jane, hey, Janie. Answer, please. Answer. Jane. Oh my god, overreact much? I kept you waiting for all of two seconds. Where have you been today? No, we're just chilling here. When all of a sudden... All of a sudden... When all of a sudden... It hits me. That we have something really fucking important to talk about. This hits you just now? We made plans to get in touch earlier this morning. And I have seen neither hide nor hair of you all day. It hits me that Jake's speed day is coming up really soon. Just a few days before mine, remember? Or, I guess it would be if it wasn't for the end of the world that's about to happen. Oh, for Pete's sake. I just wanted your advice on what to get him. Something sentimental, I guess. But, I mean, I'm mostly trapped out on precious heirlooms at the moment, so I decay. But not like anything's coming on too strong. Something that says, this is totes platonic and everything. No eyebrow raising funny bits is going over here. But still, it says, you know, call me if you wanna. Now I know you're joking around to get my goat. <laughs> yeah, that goat's getting things. But joking, oh no, I think not. You don't think that if I didn't say he was off limits on account of you being my best friend? I'll be all hell over that. Damn! That rugged sense of adventure. The delightful, silly, and cooler that's like weirdly bewitching and not self aware. That's adorable teeth. No, stop! Well, shit, Jane! What am I even supposed to do? I can't hit on anybody. And apparently, I can't entertain very frisky thought of pain because apparently everybody is off limits. Bunch of goddamn typos. Shit sucks. You don't even let me say your dad is hot, even though we both know he's way the fuck is. And I mean, come on. One. On. Yeah, because it's weird, and you're drunk. Correction, drinking. Present tense, grammar, Jane. I don't see why you don't try to court the favor of Mr. Strider. If you ask me, he and you are perfect for each other. Oh, Jane, so naive. So naive. Lordy, how can you be this far gone so early? And it isn't even noon yet. You forgot, we live in very different time zones. It's a lot later here. You're three hours ahead of me! You'd be amazed how much can happen in three hours. Disc, what would your mother have to say if she caught you? Sure, she wouldn't give a shit. I mean, she's the one that stopped the goddamn liquor cabinets in the first place. I don't even think she ever had a drop in her life, probably. So why else is she putting it there? It's like... A passive aggressive dare for me. Aggressive. Just the sort of mind game she would play. So even if your insane and paranoid theory happens to be true, your response is, screw it. Time to help myself to all this mind game booze. Yep. <laughs> Ron, you are completely impossible like this. I cannot believe you chose to do this day of all days. I should have known better. Here I am waking up bright and early, waiting all day with my nose pressed against this glass for the mail to come, and wondering if you will ever log on. And all the while you are just getting blind, stinking, schnucker bottom drunk. What you waiting for in the mail? Is it something happening today or something? <laughs> the Alpha! Jeez Louise, you're hopeless. Oh yeah, that thing. Are you at all ready to play if it comes? I guess, but you sure you even want to play this thing? I know it's just a better which wants you to do. Not this again. If you want to go ahead and be a chum, James, it's your call and just saying. I know just a chump looks like, and you don't look like no chump I ever saw. If you go through with this, I'll have to add your profile to my chump role. Which is like the real actual thing I maintain, instead of being a joke. Is that pot you want? Want. The 
Better wish does not exist. It is an idiotic urban legend. How many times have I explained this? My great-great-grandmother, who founded the company and is accused of holding this identity, would have to be almost 200 years old if she were still alive today. The idea is such preposterous hogwash. It's hardly worth dignifying with a rational response. The iconic face of the company isn't even a real person. But she was fabricated long ago during the company's fletching years. Right. As you know, an alter ego or something more sinister. Just a cuckoo nonsense. In any case, I don't understand the nature of this second guessing. Besides, chalking it up to your unwelcome inhebriation, we have to agree that you would play with me. You sounded excited about it. Have you even contained your copy yet? Uh, <laughs> yes, obtained, sure did. Through your various technologically cryptographic means, I presume? Oh, you bet. Heck the shit. Oh, those tight mainframes and all. Said Jack Pocklight a bunch of times. All those ciphers and bobby traps, backdoor trojans and whatnot, were no match to my code is. <laughs> Snicker. Mm. I am quizzically narrowing my eyes trying to solve the joke you are attempting, assuming it even is one. Okay, Jane. What I'm saying is that in the parlance of baking cause, I know that is what gets you off. Is that it was a fucking cake wait cakewalk. Oh. By the like which I mean not to say her her I'm the hottest shit hacker bitch you ever knew. As a daily to cooperate grid as she is beautiful. Which I am, but what I mean is shit wasn't even guarded. It was just some files that were there and unsecured. And I took them. Jacked them right off of the Intara web telemetrics. Then applied lipstick, femme fatale style. It was like, shit, yes, I had all kinds of know-how to use my web browser to download several files. Really? Yeah, so now I got it. If you really want to play, which you shouldn't. Hmm, that is a bit puzzling. I thought this software was highly priority. I told you, we want to play. Wants us all to be part of her big plan. And you're playing right into them like, uh... Um, yes, I know. You've made yourself clear. But what doesn't add up about your story is, I believe somebody doesn't want me to play. How else do you explain the recent attempts on my life? Don't know. Some author wants the stock price to take a hit. There. Or it's just some convincing of the witch. So this hypothetical monstrosity wants me to succeed but also wants me to die? Makes a lot of sense. Won't put it past her. Make you feel persecuted. Redoubles in determination to play. You advance her plans in whatever in incomprehensible way until suddenly you did everything she needed you to, at which point you become crazy. Expendable, yo. And then she expends you in, like, what? A boon dollars and shitty BC merch. I see. This is sounding less like a crackpot conspiracy theory by the minute. Whatever. All I'm saying is a bunch of stuff that's death true to the max. I'll send this file to you, though, and you want you do with which it's up to you. You want it now or what? Hmm, it's tempting, and I'm curious as heck to play it. But the mail should be coming any minute. I've waited this long for it, so I might as well use the official disc I trusted to me. When it comes, I do hope you'll change your tune. Not to mention, brew yourself a pot of coffee and sober your drunk butt up. My drunk butt's tune will stay as unchanged as it will remain a not drunk. Make barely current words. <laughs> okay, fair enough. But I believe that when we start playing together, you'll come around. Personally, I can hardly contain my excitement over it. If years ago someone told me, which instantly someone did, that today I would have an exclusive opportunity to play what is absolutely the most cutting-edge, immersive simulation game ever released, developed by a company which has already done so much for the advancements of humanity, I would said, Shucks, Buster, sign me up. Jane? Yes? 
Jane. What? Jane, did you know that I am utterly in love with the fact that I have a best friend who says things like shucks, Buster? Just you, junkie. Oh, 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 oh. The fit's here. The thing, the fluffy thing. The arm fluffy swinging doodad. The arm dealie. The dealie, Laland. The dealie. What? The goddamn red swingy fluffy lever arm thingamabob. Whatever it's called. On the mailbox. Breathe, Crocker. Look, breaths like this. I'm breathing regular. FYI. It's up, it's up, it's up, it's up! I don't get a lot of mail out here. And I am no mail expert. Expert? But doesn't that mean not the right thing? Like, you're supposed to put it up when you want something taken away. Not to have a guy put it up if the mail comes. I think your mailman is a quiet and possibly a dumbass. No, who cares about that? The dealie! The dealie! It's up, it's up, it's here, it's here, it's here! Ah! I'm so fucking... this. BRB!